So what did we talk about the last time we talked about hair? We talked about laser treatments. We talked about a massage treatment. Because uh, we, we were mentioning Jay Farrow had some kind of treatment that he says it was a uh, laser that uh, made his hair grow back. And so we went off on a, we're going off on a tangent now where there's a scientist named, I don't know where, where this was, was it in China or somewhere? But they plucked hair out of mice in a very small area and they pl only plucked 200 hairs. And they say that with that method, the mice grew back up to six times as many hairs. After plucking the hairs, it triggers a distress signal in the body and it makes it overcompensate and grow more hair there than it had previously been. But this is like plucking 200 individual hairs and they have to in a small area. Yeah, they have to do a small area. They say if they do a too large an area, it's ineffective. They do too small an area, it will grow back the hair, but just the hair you plucked. It, which well, they is, say if you just go a little bit too large, it weakens the signal. So right. you don't get the hair production. So it sounds, I mean, I don't know. Well, they have. it seems like they've only tried it on mice. We're gonna leave a link to the article and they haven't tried it on people. I mean, I don't know anybody that would, would spend time doing that if there's, you know. I mean, I mean if there's a benefit and it's actually going to work, everyone would spend time doing that. I would think that has a problem. But I don't know how you relate that to, like, mice are tiny, so they say they only did a, a certain amount of area, but mice are, like, what, 20 times or whatever, smaller, whatever they are, smaller than humans, so how would you relate that? <laughs> how, would, how would a human, uh, it'll take the rest of your life to make that happen? I think I would go for the massage or the laser treatment. It's, it's another thing they can experiment. Now, but they have to go to the level where they're using humans to really get some kind of thing where they can say, you try this at home and see if it works. Whether you're losing hair or not, I think the scalp massage is just something that feels good. It's going to stimulate blood flow. The hair massage, you can watch our other video for that. The hair massage is something that almost sounds like a little painful, almost kind of like this where it's causing it's a distress. Vigorous. Yeah, it's very vigorous and causing some sort of breaking up of the calcified deposits well, it also it also might cause a distress signal that similar to this thing where they're plucking here that causes because it's not it's something where you're kind of pinch you know the scalp on there the skin on your top of your head is very, very tight. tight yeah and they're, they're pinching and they're talking it. vigorous so it's actually causing a little bit of distress happening there but individually plucking 200 hairs that's that's a whole nother thing. But I guarantee you anybody would much rather do that hair pluck thing over small areas well when are these tests going to be run on humans and who's doing it and with that, watch our other episode on this to get the complete story.